family that uh, also received the logo uh, from uh, my granddaughter's uh, birthday celebration from the, the, her parents. Um, you know, they posted to say, we have about four children. Yeah, we have uh, four children, one, two, three. And um, the whole week, or maybe for some time, they've just been eating bread. It's either bread or noodles, bread or noodles. And this particular morning, um, the, young, the youngest daughter turned to them and said, yeah, is there any other food in this house except oh, bread? <laughs> any other food? And I know you listen to me, Tiara. And uh, she looked at her parents and to say, you know, any other food in this house apart from bread? And, uh, the, you know, as the parents were posting, they said, you know, how do you answer those kind of questions yeah. uh, when it comes from your child? And you know fully well, that be, this is just the thing that they've been eating all this time. And uh, she said, and at that point in time, you know, uh, the unthinkable. And then they heard the car park outside and this basket of lava coming all the way, you know, just for the family. They sat with tears and they enjoyed that meal. So this morning, you may be sitting and you're saying to yourself, I really need a miracle. I need a miracle for my finances. Uh, I need a miracle to clear my mortgage. I don't really know what to do. And I'm, I don't know which direction to take or who can I talk to. Talk to this God and his name is Jesus. Um, oh, he's a wonderful God. And uh, he's more than able. Whatever you believe or whatever that you think that may not happen, this God can make it happen to you. Uh, maybe you reach, you know, the wall and you say to yourself, you know, how far can I go? I have this wall right before me and I cannot go any further. Mm -hmm. This God can bust that wall and take you through that wall. When you're sitting and losing hope, and through the book of Revelations, and I am the door. So he can be the door in all the places that you think it's closed on you. He will open the door because he will come and make the door for you because he is the door and he is your God. So as we come towards the end of our service today, we would like to encourage you wherever you are, take God and remember God and believe in God. And sometimes maybe you're ashamed to say that you're a Christian. Uh, you're ashamed to be known to your friends that you serve God. You are ashamed even to make a mention of his name, you know, and sometimes you, you, you know, uh, you believe, if I'm going to say that, for people who believe in God and people who serve God, they are weak. A sign of weakness uh, for you to think that people look and say, okay, you know, you feel intimidated just by saying uh, or talking about God. But this morning, change your mindset. Uh, this morning, you go, I'm going to change my mindset because without God, I will not be breathing.